morning guys happy monday it's good to see everybody i hope everybody had a fantastic weekend my kids are still sleeping Shh, it doesn't happen very often so i'm going to start getting crafty with you guys this monday let's take a look at the materials that we're going to need so first off we're going to need some markers so i grabbed all of the washable markers that i could find in my house so I grabbed those and put them in a pile, start with those. You're also going to need um, a Ziploc bag of some sort. Use a great value one, use whatever one you want. Um, a water bottle, a spray water bottle, uh, just a little bit of water in there, nothing special. And then in the description below will be a link for some printouts that you can use for the activity. So I'll show you a couple of those right now. I don't know if I had any of those upside down because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Hopefully they weren't upside down. Anyways, um, I'm going to get started and I'm going to show you what we're going to do and then I'm going to tell you a couple other things that you can use as um, your backgrounds. I have these backgrounds printed not just on regular paper but on cardstock. So if you have cardstock at home it's just a th tiny bit of a thicker paper which is good for what we're going to do. You can use regular paper. So. Um, First thing we're going to do is we're going to decide which one we're going to start with. And I'm going to do, do small things with great love. I'm going to start with that. And what I'm going to do is I lay that down flat. I'm going to take my plastic bag and I put it on top of the actual um, printout. Then what I do is I decide what colors I want to use and I'm going to color on the bag. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick, right now I'm going to pick some blue some green and some yellow and I'm just going to draw and color in different spots so I'll show you what I mean so we're going to start here we go like this Colors, fill in the spaces. Doesn't have to be perfect. And the reason you put the bag on top is so you can see where you want a color. So for this one, I just want the color to be around the little square that we're um, where the quote is. So I'm just coloring over that spot, and I'll show you exactly what I mean in just a second. Okay, so when you're done coloring, it'll look something like this. So you'll see when I take the card away, it's hard to see, but that's what it looks like. Okay, with the marker side up, you're going to take your spray bottle and you're going to just, oh, you're going to just lightly spray your plastic bag. Okay, just lightly spray your plastic bag and then you're going to take your paper or your plastic bag and you're going to turn it over on top of the paper where you want it. Once you have it turned over on top of the paper, I'm just going to use Kleenex to push on it. I'm just going to spread it out a little bit. So I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to rub over top of where we colored with the markers and where we sprayed with the water. Okay. Once it's all done, you can lift off your plastic bag like this. And when you pick up your paper, this is the cool design that you have. Not too shabby, right? I'm gonna do a couple more. We'll see how they turn out. Use some different colors maybe. Okay, so take this other quote, put it down. 
going to use the same bag that I had, but I'm just going to wipe off any remnants of the marker that are left over with like a wet paper towel. Unless you want to use the exact same colors again. Oopsie, oh no. I ripped a hole in my bag. That's okay. Just flip it over and use the other side instead. So same idea, I'm gonna put this over top of where my design is so I can see where I want the colors. And then I'm gonna pick some colors and color on the plastic bag. I'll show you again. Here's hoping all my markers work that I pick. Okay, I'll show you again, like that. You're going to lightly spray your bag. Try to get, it's really good if you can get it to that, that spray point where it's like um, a mist, not a squirty. <laughs> So get it kind of misty, gonna cover the area just a little bit, not too much water. Got a little bit too much water in my hand. I'm gonna take the bag, you're going to flip it over on top of the quilt. Take your paper towel or your Kleenex or whatever you used, and you're going to kind of smudge out or spread out the marker. And you're gonna lift off your bag, and then you have this other really cool design. So I'm gonna do two more really quick for you guys, and uh, we'll see what those turn out like. two that I did. Yes. And then once they're dry, you can hang them in your windows for people to see as they're walking by, similar to what we do with the hearts, or you can keep them for yourself or give them away as a gift. You can put them in a nice little frame. Um, I'm quite happy with them. They turned out quite well. Some of mine got a little runny on the side. It's okay. Just a different little style. Um, but I am very happy with them in the long run. And I think that uh, you guys are all going to be really happy with it too. It's a really simple, easy watercolor. Something you can do with your family. Something you can do um, when you are stuck inside for a rainy day instead of getting out in your backyard or if it's kind of cold like it has been for the last couple days. So I hope you guys are getting crafty at home. I hope you guys are having some fun. And I hope you guys have a wonderful week coming up. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. 
And we will see you guys Monday next week when we get crafty again. Bye, guys. Take care.